Less than a year ago, relations between Moscow and Ankara soured after a Turkish fighter jet shot down a Russian Su-24M bomber over the Turkish-Syrian border last November. Harsh words and hostilities ensued. Vladimir Putin warned of serious consequences. Today's loss for us was like a stab in the back delivered by the accomplices of terrorists. I cannot qualify what happened today as anything else. But reconciliation came about on the 27th of June in the form of a written expression of regret from President Erdogan. Moscow then lifted its sanctions on tourism, which by June 2016 had seen arrivals of Russian visitors to Turkey slump by 93% against June 2015. In the aftermath of July's failed coup, the West saw measures taken against suspected participants as overly severe, while Erdogan bemoaned the lack of backing offered from the EU. Putin, however, was the first to offer his support to the Turkish leader. On the 9th of August, Erdogan made a state visit to St. Petersburg to seal the rapprochement, while Europe looked on, worried that the migrant agreement with Turkey was in jeopardy. Putin was one of the first leaders to call Erdogan and he declared unconditional support for the Turkish government, the democratically elected government of Turkey against the coup. After Erdogan thanked Putin for his support, which he said meant a lot psychologically, the two committed to strengthening their economic cooperation to the tune of 90 billion euros a year. Russia has already commenced work on Turkey's first nuclear power station in Akuyu in the south. Turkey is not rich in hydrocarbons and President Erdogan has said he hopes the plant, which is costing an estimated 18 billion euros, will eventually provide 10% of Turkey's energy. The two countries are also aiming to reaffirm their commitment to completing the Russian-Turkish gas pipeline Turkstream that could deliver 31.5 million cubic metres of Russian gas per year to Europe via the Black Sea. However, a potential sticking point remains between Moscow and Ankara. They remain at odds where Syria is concerned. The former is a key ally of Bashar al-Assad's regime, while the latter supports the rebels who want to oust him from power.